Yo, yo, yo. Oh, man. Oh, shit. You got like a hip hop legend. Like one of the illest, greatest. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I got the Lord Jamal, one and only. Peace. Peace. What's goody? Yo, what's going on, King? Yo, thank you so much for, you know, coming and pulling through. No doubt. You know, and the, from the soul, this is from the soul and all that. And, you know, your boy Tiger here. And, um, how you doing? I'm great, bro. How are you? Um, everything is good, you know. I'm I'm honored to even be in your presence. You know what I'm saying? And um, appreciate everything, man. Now, when w real quick, yeah. So from the soul, right? Yeah. Did you get that from like De La Soul? It's from the soul. No, I did not. <laughs> Cause that's what I think of right. when I hear from the soul. That line pops in my mind. Nah, I nah. F from the soul is like uh like it's just you know from yeah. the soul. I, I'm a I, Korean I kid, it, right? It's Korean, Korean, so yeah. Uh -huh, I and I, I'm a Korean kid. I feel like I got soul, S O U L. Right. And I collect sneakers, S O L E. Ah. And, you know, I think I put all that into one. And I'm just doing this, you know, this is just what I like to do. And this is what I love. Like, copy. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, I got some dope. Like, you know, I know you're a hip hop historian. So, like, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. You know, like? Yes, sir. Oh, my bad. <laughs> we doing it in real time. We dropping lighters between the seat. That's no, how we do. Yeah, it's over. Oh, you lost it? Like, yeah, it's under, under. Yeah, I right there. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. The struggle is real. Wait, yeah. I feel it. You feel it? It's like in my yeah. hand. Oh, you got it. Oh, no, I'm gonna push this shit back. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah. Man, yo, um, do you mind if I ask how old you are? 52. Yo, how, how, yo, what the, f how are you still in shape like this? Bro, how do you do it? Like, is it like genetics? Is it like, you just, you know, like, like, I think it's eating? a combination of things. Mm. I think it's genetics. I think it's, um, because I, I seen you at Eric Kelly. Shout out to Eric Kelly, my bro. I seen you like you you looking more healthy than him, and I'm just like, I was like, what the? I was like, oh shit. Um, yeah, it's never just one thing. It's a combination of things. Mm -hmm. Um, genetics. Right. Um, how you eat? But then exercising when you're young. You know what I mean? I mean extreme exercising, like. Football, you know, Pop Warner having to run laps and fucking right. suicide drills and all that type of shit. Right. Uh, to where you disciplining yourself. Then, you know what I mean? Just always just trying to stay fit. And then, yes, diet. Diet. Um, stop eating swine very young. Then that led really? to, yeah, that led to. So you don't to, eat pork? Uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. Okay. When I got knowledge, when I was like yeah. 15 years old, mm -hmm. um, you know, part of it was not eating swine. Right. So I went home that day and threw out all the pork in my in my crib. What? <laughs> and you never I didn't buy it. Keep in mind, I didn't <laughs> buy the pork. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it was there. My mom's yeah. and shit. Yeah. It was I threw there. her good money away, but um. I was like, fuck that, we not eating we not eating swine no more. So crib. you never ate swine after that? No. Ever? No. Well not if if I did, it was like by accident or some shit oh, okay. like that. Got it, you got know it. what I mean? Someone gave you like a bacon cheeseburger or something. Mm, you know, it might have just been in some you know, like, oh shit, that had swine in it, oh, and now God. you gotta fucking fast and get it out of you and all oh, that type of shit. Oh, yeah. So you, never... you fast too? Yeah, absolutely. Fine. Um but for years I was a pescatarian. Um, but stopping eating swine was the first step. Then I stopped eating red <coughs> meat. You know what I mean? And then I had stopped eating chicken, and I was eating just fish. And when I say fish, I don't mean like shrimp and lobster. I mean like salmon, salmon whiting, right. red snapper, shit like that. Mackerel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, you know, I want to kind of start like, yo, how how did you like discover hip hop? Like, for you. I discovered hip hop. Well, just, when did you discover? You know? Yeah, like um, it was definitely like 
late seventies, early eighties. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna say late seventies. Um, and there was a kid that lived around my na- my neighborhood named Eddie Hall. Mm-hmm. And Eddie Hall was he was older than me. You uh-huh. know what I mean? And he but he was a cool fly nigga. You know what I mean? Like Afro was was right. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like uh-huh. like. He rocked the Swedish knits and the mock necks and right. you know what I mean? Right. British walkers and all that type of shit. Mm. So he went to um to the junior high school before us, since he was older. He he went to junior high school and he was exposed to all the, you know right, what I mean? Right, 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 right. And so now he's coming back to the hood and, and he's yeah. rhyming. And you see saying, you know, oh, yes, yes, y'all, shit like that. And wow. he's he's talking about Break beats and King Tim the Third and all of this ill shit, you know what right. I mean? Apache, which they was calling Bongo Rock back then. They was mm-hmm. calling it Bongo Rock. Mm-hmm. But it's Apache. Right. Um, so just through him, it was like, wow. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just hearing about it mm-hmm. and then finally really hearing this shit. Mm-hmm. It was like, oh man, this is it. Like, this is what I've always been waiting for. Like, I always wow. felt like I wanted to fuck with music, but back then, the only example for a kid doing music was like Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? Right. And Michael Jackson could sing, sing, and he could dance his ass off. You know what I mean? I knew. So when Michael Jackson was out before that, at that time. Well, see, Michael Jackson was at that time. He was already like. Um, off the wall He was about At that time You know what, what? I mean He was he was Kind of grown already He was in his 20s By that time um, But still I have Michael Jackson records Like Michael Jackson As a little kid Was still an enduring um, Was still something That you see Like we had the They had the Jackson 5 cartoon Back then And okay. all of that Type of shit Trust me, for a black kid, even though Michael Jackson was not a kid anymore, you still would see images of him as a kid. No, because, like, I thought that, you know, like, you guys, you guys came up in the same era almost. Like, he was a little older? Nah, he's, he was definitely older. Yeah, if you look at oh, shit. Mike, okay. should be, if he was still alive, he'd probably be in his 60s or something really? like that. Oh, yeah, yeah Michael wow. was. He's, so, he's, like, damn, so you heard it from that guy from high He was like, making records when I was a baby. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. But he was a little kid too, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's what it is. So anyway, right. I knew I couldn't sing and dance like Michael Jackson. Right. You know what I mean? But right. I knew I loved music. Right. So then when you hear, when hip hop came, it was like, oh shit, this is some music that a nigga who can't really sing could do. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You could still be musical without having to sing type of shit. Right. You could you could tell poetry without being a corny nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Like, without trying to sound like Shakespeare or some shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I was all in, but I started as a DJ. You did? Yeah. Well, so. How was that? Like, that shit Man, I was nasty, bro. No, like, nah, stop playing. Behind my back, all of that type of what? shit. Yeah, I was nasty, bro. Um, I still DJ to this day. Like niggas just don't know. Like, um, I'm a hip hop machine. Like I've done Fire. all all hip hop shit that you can do. I've done it. Right, break dancing, break dancing, graffiti, fucking. I did it all. Like you Fire. know what I mean. Fire. But I was the best. <clears throat> I was the best at. Mm. Because I'm, I keep it real with myself. I know when I'm good at something, when I'm not good mm-hmm. at something. I was all right at graffiti. I was all right at breakdancing. <sighs> right. You know what I mean? But when it came to DJing, I was nasty. You nasty. Know what I mean? Nasty. Whew. And then it led me to MCing and shit like that. Because I had a crew and we used to make routines. And then I used to start helping them write routines. And then, you know what I mean? It was like, oh, Yo, you should write your own rhyme. And you know what I mean? That'll be a gimmick. Right. Like, because I was like the youngest nigga in the crew. <coughs> All of these niggas was older than me, 17, 18. I was like 14, 15. Wow. And, and then, uh, how did you get into that, like, that group? Like, the brand newbie and all that. Like, so how did all that Well, come about? so, like I said, you know, I'm nice in this DJing shit. 
Mm-hmm. And and now my name is getting around. Wow. You know what I mean? Niggas in in the Rochelle know me and shit like that. Um, you Rochelle? Yeah, that's where we grew up. Right. So, you know, Poobah, he was already like Grand. Yeah, Grand Poobah, he was already like right. a fucking a Nourishell legend and shit. Right. Um, he had already made a record, but it wasn't. The master ceremony. Well, it wasn't the big shit that we would know, sexy and cracked out. It was another song called Crime. Right. But niggas from New Rochelle knew that he made that record, and that was big for us. Right. It's the fact that he made a record, even though it wasn't a hit. So, long story short, he was doing a party. One of his turntables fucked up. He needed an extra turntable. And so, and so a nigga that I knew, a younger nigga was like, yo, I know a nigga that DJ, you know what I mean? Maybe he could let you use the shit. And so he calls me out of the blue and asked to borrow my turntable. That's the first time I met Pooh Bar and shit. Fine. Then, you know, now I start emceeing and shit like that. So, I'm, and I'm one of these niggas that I'm running up on everything like you know what i mean yeah, yeah. like like if niggas got the, the the tables out in the park yeah or at the high school yo can i get on the mic can Fine. i get on the wheels whatever yeah. like i right i'm just want to be a part of the hip-hop right. and sometimes hating niggas would not let you get on <clears throat> that's fine because they know right and then sometimes niggas they don't want you to shine and shit so one day they're having a block party in um in lincoln park right. i could think of many episodes of swag in lincoln park so Having a block party in Lincoln Park, boom. I'm like, yo, let me get on. You know what I mean? And I, and it was a nigga that I feel like usually hated, but this time he didn't hate. You know what I mean? Right. So he let me get on the mic. Soon as I grabbed the mic, Poobah and his partner, uh, Doctor Who, right, who are master of ceremonies, right, they're now walking into the park right, right at that moment, right. And I'm and I'm saying my shit, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And I see the nigga pointing at me, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Talking right. to his man, like, yo, that's the dude I was telling you about, boom, boom, boom. You know? And then after I got off, Kuba approached me and was like, yo, you know what I mean? That was it. You, you nice, I, I want to work with you type of shit. Wow. Um, <laughs> wait, is she, I know she didn't do that for us. She did. She I did. know she, she didn't did. do that she for did. us. <laughs> well, you know it's legal, little girl, so you're gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> little girl yeah. gonna walk by holding her nose. She smell the weed. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yo. Anyway, mm-hmm. so Pooh Boss says, yo, I wanna work with you. Basically, he starts working with me as a solo artist. Shortly after that, he's like, yo, I met this other kid, man. I think I might want to work with him. Oh, yeah, what's his name? Derek X. <laughs> work with him. He's nasty. I already mm-hmm. knew X. Mm-hmm. I already met X from a cypher. Right. I'm running up on cyphers. <coughs> I'm thinking I'm, I'm the illest nigga my age. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then I met X, and I was like, oh, shit, this nigga nasty. Like, right. You know what I mean? But right. he didn't look like... But was it like a battle? Like, Nah, it wasn't a battle. It was just a friendly cypher that was going yeah, right, on. Right, right. But, like, I was sleeping on X because... You know, X went to like a Catholic school, and right, he so might have been just coming from school. Judging, so judging yeah, so it. he got on a uniform. <laughs> and he don't look like a like yeah, a street nigga right. at the time. You know what right. I mean? And, and so I'm like, <laughs> so I run up. You know what I mean? And then he, yo, I'm 15 years old. His voice was just as deep or whatever as right. it is now. Like, right. And so he had that voice, and the shit he was saying, and and, and he made me like, yo, like, like. He was like the only other nigga my age that I respected rhyming. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, that I was like, okay. Because there was other niggas older than me that I respected, but talking about my age. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so, I already knew about X. So then when he said he wanted to work with X, I was like, yeah, you should work with him. So now he's working with us solo. They got hits. Master ceremonies. I'm going on the road with these niggas and all of that type of shit. Right. First introduction to the real hip hop life. Um. Even though I did fuck with this dude, uh, Dal C from the Crash Crew before I fuck with Pooh Bar, mm-hmm. but you know it didn't really go nowhere like that. But anyway, so finally his group breaks up. <coughs> I always secretly in my mind wanted to be in Master Ceremonies. 
You know what I mean? Right. I was like, man, if I was in master ceremonies, this shit would be crazy. Mm -hmm. We would be out of here. You know what I mean? So then they broke up, and he's thinking maybe he want to get a solo deal, or, but then he still want to help me and X, but then it's, you know, how's he going to get three deals? I'm like, I said, man, we should make a group. You know what I mean? Right. And then he's like, you know what? Yeah, we should. And then he already had people, you know what I mean? Niggas like Dante Ross that was like loving him from the master ceremony shit. Right. Already wanted to sign him just on the strength. Mm -hmm. So when he came, he was like, yo, I got a group. He's like, all right, well, let me hear something. We ain't even have no music. <laughs> we didn't even have no music. And so, these guys was just in the cypher thing again, like spitting. Well, nah, we, like I said, Poobah had people wanting to sign him already. Got it. So we, we're we going to the record company, but we don't have no music with Same. all of us that they could hear. They only know Poobah shit. So now we had to go make a demo. Okay, you made you guys it. Made took it us, better. yeah, but it took us like two weeks. You know what I mean? That's because we was getting free time. We had to sit up in the studio up at Jazzy J's studio in the Bronx and Shit. wait until other niggas session is done and then wow. see if niggas is going to let us. You wow. know what I mean? Wow. So it was about two weeks of that before we got the joint done. We come back to the nigga. <coughs> one song for the nigga with all of us on it. Shit crazy. He love it. You know what I mean? And then the rest was history. You know, that's crazy. And um, I want to ask you too. It's kind of like left field, but this was it. You know, do you what was like the first Asian hip hop that you remember? Like, Asian hip hop? Like, well, the Asians in hip hop. Who was like? Do you do you remember like any like like it could be like Filipino or something like? Well, that you remember. I remember. Mm -hmm. Meeting this bad Filipino <laughs> broad from Staten Island uh -huh. <laughs> back in the day uh -huh. at like Latin Quarter or some shit like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. She was nice. Nah, but like, you don't and like she it. She got it too. Like, <laughs> like, um, like the but as far as rap yeah. goes, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like it would have to be somebody like Jin, maybe. Really? He like, was like the first in hip hop? Bro, who. Let me stop and think. Hold up. That's what I'm saying. Like, Let me stop and think. Uh, 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 uh. Hang on. What about my man from 2 Live Crew? Remember? The dude with the arm? That He looked Asian. No, I have no idea. Yeah. Come on. Let's Google 2 Live Crew. Hang on. We're going to do our Googles. This guy actually passed away. 2 Live Crew members. Fresh Kid Ice. That's the nigga name. Is that nigga Asian? He 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 looks kind of Asian. He looks kind of Asian, yeah, right? He does. Well, then I would say him. <laughs> now, he wasn't a nasty. He wasn't like, you know what I mean? But he was in a big ass fucking group. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um So I would probably say him. And then it's Jin. And then I'd say Jin, bro. I'd say Jin. Are we are we upset that it's Jin? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. I just nah. That's what shout out to Jin. Um, but shout out to Jin. I mean, I, I just I just thought that there was more like like back in the day that people didn't know about. You know, you know, it was always black and Puerto Rican, bro. You know what I mean? Like yeah. like other people. Re you know, you got to understand this was a an outside culture. Hip hop was an outside culture. You know what I mean? What does that mean? Uh, elaborate. Well, that means that Outside a lot of culture. people didn't want to fuck with it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right. people that were mainstream didn't <laughs> necessarily want to fuck with it mm. until it became mainstream. Mm -hmm. When it was a subculture, how would somebody that's Asian, unless they grew up in the hood, how would they have known about hip-hop? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, they wouldn't have. Like... Unless they traveled in those circles. But now Puerto Rican, we live in side by side in New York. We, we, you know, there's black niggas that know how to speak Spanish because they lived in right. sp sp predominantly Spanish neighborhoods. Right. But at the same time, these are Spanish niggas that look like me. Right. You know what I mean? Like, 
they just as dark as me. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's why it was, you know, early. You know, I could name mad Puerto Ricans in hip hop. You know what I mean? Right. Prince Whip a Whip, Charlie Chase. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Tito, fucking um, Bobito. Well, Bobito comes way later. Way later. Way later. Oh shit. Um. Ruby D, fucking, um, yo, there was mad Puerto Rican DJs and MCs, fine. you know what I mean? That's fine. But it's no offense to Asians mm. or white people, but mm. wasn't there. How many, how many right. Asian people do you know that live in the projects? Right, not, no. But there's, now there's a little bit, yeah, you know, now, now, I'm talking about none. back yeah, then. None. In the 70s and 80s. None, none. Um, people that were trying to be upwardly mobile and, and all of that weren't necessarily fucking with hip-hop. Mm. And so it wasn't until hip-hop culture saturated other forms of society that other motherfuckers just started gravitating to it and it resonated with them, although they were outside of the immediate... Um, and scope of it. Then what do you what do you think about like just then everybody right now, right? The Asians, and then you said it on on one of these things. I'm glad that um you don't mind if China Max says the N word, right? Shout out to Max. But right, well, you know, well I, mm -hmm. like so I want you know what I mean, like, and I see everybody now, like all these. But that Asian don't mean line, everybody know, can say it. Right, China Mac is a is a. What we call an anecdotic, sto an anecdotal story, you see, like what he can do is not blanketed for what all Asians can. He has a particular mm. um, story and, right. and life experience right. that enables him to do something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I got a nigga that I know that was like, yo, I was locked up with that nigga China. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> like I was like, okay, like right. that. You know, like, and cause like I, I did a little time too, and everybody was like, "Yo, you one of us." Like I was saying that, oh, like you know, like I didn't say it, you know, I it just it just came out, right? And they're like, "You, you one of us, bro." Like you know, and there was like other Asians there, like few, right? They're like, "Nah, not him, right?" But you one of us, right? And it's like, "Yo, you, you know, what I'm saying we don't mind you say that," and I, I never got flack for that, but like you know, now I'm in the, you know. Doing all this, right. and I, I, you and know, you I have definitely to be conscious it. of it. Hundred percent, hundred percent, and that's why I wanted to see it. Like you know how you, you know. Yeah, it's it's not like. And you know not, and you know the white boys wasn't saying that no either. Like they was not saying that. Right. They was not. Then they would not let you know what I mean. So. But now they say it to themselves. You know what I mean? Like I hear these little motherfuckers call each other niggas and shit. Mm. And. You know, I wanted to ask you about Vlad, too. Okay. Um. Well, was it real? Like, was it for real? Was what for real? Like, you, like, not fucking with him anymore? Like... Do you see me fucking with him? No. Nah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, then it's real. Like, nah. I don't do... Fake shit. I don't do like publicity stunts right, right, and right. shit no, no, like no. that. Yeah, right, right. And what was the reason? Was it because of the Farrakhan thing? Well, that was the. And you know, for me, right? Not to go through, mm -hmm. but for me, I really would have never heard about you, like, right, like at the time, because you know, like, Vlad was, you know, Vlad is relevant, you know, right now, like, I, you know, like. Well, it depends With the on what you, what you call relevant. And that's how I got to know you. you know, right. I did my homework after because of Vlad, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, damn. Right. And got, I don't I'll just take self, that away. Right. It's like, oh, man. Lo Jamal got now himself. He's dope. Right. Shit, yeah, it was real. Was it over Farrakhan? No, it wasn't over just Farrakhan. That was the... Tipping point? That was the spark of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um... What it was really over was his disregard for people like me, people like Godfrey, people that supported his channel and helped to build the shit up to what it is. He's gonna think the other way around. What if he'd be like, I helped you guys to get relevant? Like, Listen, what if 
We helped each other. But here's the thing, right? You claim to be my friend, right? So as a friend, if I'm telling you, yo, bro, what you're doing is harmful to all of us. Like, yeah. it's not like you're bringing me down by like, what you're doing right now. Mm. Like, you need to bite the bullet and as a friend, just apologize to this person in our culture, even if you don't understand. Mm. Because mm. if you don't do that, me standing with you is 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 making me look like I don't give a fuck about my, my about fucking it. people. Right. And at the end of the day, you're trying to fucking... Um, Stay on code with you, with people that you claim you don't even fuck with. Vlad claims that he's not a, a a practicing Jew, yet he's mad that Farrakhan said some shit about Jews that he believed was anti-Semitic. You understand? Mm. You can't have it both ways. So my thing is, don't tell me you my friend, but when it's time to do <coughs> some real friend shit, yeah, you're not ready to do it. You know what I mean? So, as a friend, I needed you to apologize to Farrakhan. Right. If not, I can't fuck with you. Mm. Because you're showing me that when the tough gets going, you're just about yourself. You know what I mean? You're just going to do what you feel is good for you. And cool. You know what I mean? But repercussions come with that. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Man, his shit is that much, it's corny now. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't the same no more. But, okay. He's still gonna make his bread, I'm, you know? Right. Whatever. Like, you know, I'm gonna do what I do. And, um, to, you know, I wanna take, turn, you know, do another topic and shit. This is from the soul, right? So, you know, what was you rocking, like, sneaker-wise? Like, cause you know me, I love sneakers, right? So I want like, what was you rocking coming up? But like, you know what I mean? Like, what was your whatever was popping at the time? What was popping? I mean, we start with shit like Pumas, suede Pumas, Pumas. You know what I mean? Fine. Shelto Adidas. Um, <coughs> shit, but even before that, they was there was some. Some sneakers called Mark Fives back in the days. You ever heard of those? Nah. Exactly. I yeah, think that's, sold, what I, that's what I was. That's I think what they I, sold them at like Buster Brown or some shit like that. Mark Fives. Look them shits up. Those was like a suede sneaker back in the days. Mark Five. Mm-hmm. Mm. Any other one? That niggas used to rock. Um. Like all the pop, you know, whatever mm -hmm. was popular coming up. Of course, fucking Uptowns is the most classic. Yeah. What? The most? That's the most classic sneaker that lasted the test of time. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. It Once is. niggas started rocking that, yeah, Uptowns down just never went out of style. Like, yeah, like, like at some point, Shelto's kind of went out of style. Pumas right. went, out, went of out of style. style. Yeah. Nike never went Nike, out. Those Nikes yeah. never went out of style. But those weren't there at the beginning, though. Don't get me wrong. Right. They came a little later, but once they came... It's, it was over? It's like, yeah, we fucking with those. Um, I remember the time when niggas was rocking the Hirachis. Um, oh. Shit, when we first started Brand Nubian, we was going to rock New Balance. We was rocking New Balance. Got it, bro. Yeah, that was going to be like a Nubian sneaker because of the N. You know what I mean? And the B kind of like, it was almost like a Nubian, you know what I mean? New Balance. Um, so we was rocking New Balances for a, a quick second in the beginning. And, um, you know, I want to, you know, thank you for even, you know, Give me your time and Deodora. Deodora. Ooh. Sergio Ticini. Ooh. Fucking yeah. um, shit. And Remember we used to rock ponies. And ooh. <laughs> fucking yeah. And um, like I said, I, I really oh, want to thank you and I, I like to give my flowers while in but it's through sneakers. And um I got some some Oh man. Let me find out. Oh, Sean Dirtwood. Sean Dirtwood. Let me 
fun now. Oh, yeah. Wow. Whoa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And we, see, you said kick. We, you know, I could have talked about Playboys and fucking Wallaby. British Walkers and shit. But yes, Wallaby. Oh, man. And this is a classic fucking color, bro. And then they gave, uh, like, a brown for the New York. Yeah, I know you went, oh, my boy. Bro. The Navy. Yo. <laughs> That's much love, my mm -hmm. brother. That's mm -hmm. much love. What? Wallaby Clarks? Yeah, this is like summertime classic. And I know summertime, you Summertime, bro. And I know you were killing. I know. You're going to see me with these on. Trust me. I'm going to tag you when I fucking wear them. Yeah, hell yeah. And I'm, oh, man. This wow. And I'm like, when I sit down, I'm like, I was like looking. And then I had all, and, you, and I was like, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck that. And then it, like. I was like, yo, I'm not giving him sneakers, nah. No yeah, way. I ain't gonna front. I needed a pair of these. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Hell yeah. You just brightened my day up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I appreciate that, nah, man. Nah, I appreciate wow. you, man. That's crazy, man. That's all right. Yeah, hell yeah. This is From the Soul. I got the Lord Jamal with me. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Peace. From the Soul. Yes, sir.